Hi, welcome to Kauzervice channel. In this video, we are going to see tools or techniques of financial statement analysis along with a numerical problem. Please try to watch the complete video to get the clarity about this topic. And you can check the description box to find more videos related with this topic. And please subscribe this Kauzervice channel to get the further notification of my new uploads. Okay, now let us see the problem. See, the accounting process ends with preparation of statement of balance sheet and statement of profit and loss. Okay, see these are the two statements we used to prepare at the end of the financial year. Okay, so after preparing the income statement and balance sheet, the next step is the organization need to analyze all the financial statements, okay, in order to take or make some major financial decisions. For that, we need to have some tools or techniques of analyzing the financial statements, okay. Here we have four different tools or techniques of financial statement analysis. The first one is comparative statements and the second one common size statements and the third one ratio analysis and the last one cash flow statement okay so these are the four important tools or techniques of financial statement analysis okay here we are going to see the first one that is comparative statement okay the remaining three things we are going to discuss in the next videos okay the first one is comparative statement in the comparative statements again we have two divisions the first one is comparative balance sheet another one is comparative statement of profit and loss that is income statement first let us see what is the meaning of comparative balance sheet along with the format then we will see the problem okay let us see what is comparative balance sheet let us try to understand the meaning of comparative balance sheet along with the format okay see the format format of comparative balance sheet okay that is comparative balance sheet as at two years will be given okay so here we have different columns the first one is particulars the next one note number and then previous year data and current year data first we need to enter previous year information then only we need to enter the current year information okay and the next one is absolute change okay so absolute change means if there is any difference between previous year with the current year that will be entered here so when you find the absolute change there is a possibility of increase or decrease okay that is the absolute change okay that is a c and the next one is the last one is a percentage change of increase or decrease whatever may be the result that is absolute change we need to find out the percentage how much proportion the changes is okay that will be calculated using this formula okay let us see one by one the first one is under particulars so this is the comparative balance sheet no the first part is equity and liabilities in equity we know the format of preparing balance sheet according to the revised schedule first we need to enter equity and liabilities under that three components are there first one shareholders fund and the second one non current liabilities the third one is current liabilities okay these are the three major components which comes under equity and liabilities okay and the first one shareholders fund two components are there share capital and the second one reserves and surplus okay these are the two components which comes under equity shareholders fund okay and the next one is non current liabilities non current liabilities are two things are there one is long term borrowings and long term provisions and the next one is current liabilities so current liabilities are short term borrowings trade payables other current liabilities and short term provisions so these are the various components which comes under current liabilities right the second part is asset okay under asset there are two major components are there the first one non current asset another one is current asset and a non current asset three elements are there first one fixed asset the next one is uh, non current investments and the third one is long term loans and advances these are the three elements which comes under non current assets okay the next one is current asset under current asset these are the various elements the first one current investments next one inventories then trade receivables and then cash and then short term loans and advances 
and the last one other current assets okay these are the various components which comes under current asset okay this is the format of balance sheet according to the revised schedule 6 okay now so with this we are going to see how to prepare comparative balance sheet okay just enter all the elements of balance sheet item and then we need to write the previous year data and current year data this information will be given in the problem so two years data will be that is two years balance sheet will be given in the problem first we need to enter previous year information and then we need to enter current year information for example 2020 and 2019 informations are there in that case first we need to enter 2019 information then we need to enter 2020 information so 20 is the current year 19 is the previous year like that you have to enter previous year first and then current year information the next one is we need to find absolute change absolute change means uh, we need to compare previous year with current year okay when you compare two data you can find some changes it may be increase or decrease okay that will be entered in this particular column that is absolute change okay so the first one is a second one is b then we need to find c c for absolute change the formula is b minus a that is current year minus previous year and finally we need to find the percentage change whether increase or decrease doesn't matter we need to find the proportion that is percentage of change okay the formula for percentage change is d that is d is equal to c divided by a into 100 c for absolute change that is increase or decrease that will be taken into consideration divided by a a means we need to take the base year base year will be previous year the first information is the base year okay with that you can find out the proportion into 100 okay this is the formula to find out the percentage again i repeat c that is absolute change divided by previous year data into 100 so this is the formula to find out d d represent percentage change okay so this is the method to compare balance sheet between two different years okay let us see the problem see the problem prepare comparative balance sheet of xyz limited from the following balance sheet see here they have given some information that is balance sheet for two different years okay 31st march 2020 and 31st march 2019 okay the first one is equity and liabilities under that the first component is shareholders fund okay and the shareholder fund share capital so here we have only equity share capital how much 3 lakh 60 in the year 2020 and previous year 3 lakhs okay and then reserves and surplus current year 1 lakh 50 and previous year 1 lakh 30 and then non current liabilities uh, current year 250000 previous year 150000 and then current liabilities uh, current year 120 and previous year 150 so total current year liability is 8 lakh 80000 and previous year total liability is 7 lakh 30000 then second one is uh, assets so under assets non current assets or fixed asset under that tangible asset and intangible assets tangible assets for the current year 6 lakh 40 previous year 5 lakh okay and intangible asset for the current year 1 lakh previous year also 1 lakh and the next one is current assets under current asset two components are there trade receivables and cash at bank so trade receivable for the current year 1 lakh 20000 previous year 1 lakh and then cash at bank current year 20000 previous year 30000 and total asset for the current year 8 lakh 80 and uh, total assets for the previous year 7 lakh 30000 so this is the information given in this problem that is uh, two different years balance sheet values are given with this we are going to prepare comparative balance sheet of the two different years let us see the solution see the solution comparative balance sheet of xyz limited as at 31st march 2019 and 2020 okay see here we have different uh, columns the first one particulars and the next one note number and then that is 31st march 2019 that is previous year a represent previous year data and the next one 31st march 2020 that is end of current year so b represent current year 
and then absolute change increase or decrease so we need to find out the absolute change by comparing current year with previous year okay that is b minus a you will be getting absolute change that is increase or decrease and the next one is percentage change so after finding the absolute change we need to apply the formula to find out the percentage that is d represent percentage change the formula is c by a into 100 c represent absolute change that is increase or decrease that is the absolute change divided by a so a means previous year data okay into 100 so a is the base year to find out the percentage we need to consider the previous year data to find out the percentage change okay the absolute change divided by previous year data into 100 okay this is the formula to find out the percentage change okay in the comparative statement of balance sheet okay we are going to compare each and every component of balance sheet okay which pertaining to two different years now let us see the calculation part so first we need to enter all the assets and liabilities which is given in the problem and then we need to enter previous year information and current year information as per the data given in the problem then only we can go for the other two calculations let us see the first three things that is particular column previous year data and current year data first step is we need to enter all the liabilities and asset as per the problem okay enter all these items in the solution in the first column that is particular column and the next one is in this problem they have given data for the current year first and previous year next okay but according to our calculation first we need to enter previous year information in the first column and in the next column we need to enter the current year information then only we can able to find out the difference then we can find out the percentage of change okay let us see the solution see the solution we have entered all the liabilities and assets which is given in the problem and we have entered the values for previous year and current year as per the problem okay now after entering all these things the next step is we need to find absolute change that is we need to find increase or decrease by comparing okay current year data with the previous year data then we'll be getting c c means absolute change okay now let us see the calculation of absolute change by comparing 2020 data with 2019 data see the first one that is a uh, uh, share capital equity share capital so current year 3 lakh 60 previous year 3 lakhs the difference is 60000 increased okay plus value in case of any negative value we need to enter the negative value within the bracket okay the same thing even applicable for percentage for negative value we need to enter the value within the bracket okay see the first one the current year equity share capital 3 lakh 60000 Previous year three lakhs. What is the difference? Three lakh sixty minus three lakhs sixty thousand increased. Okay, so enter sixty thousand. The next one is uh, reserves and surplus. Current year how much? One lakh fifty. Previous year one lakh thirty. So what is the difference? Twenty thousand increased current year. So enter here twenty thousand. The next one non current liabilities. Current year two lakh fifty thousand. Previous year one lakh fifty thousand difference one lakh increased, so enter one lakh. The next one current liabilities. Okay, so current year current liabilities one lakh twenty thousand. Previous year one lakh fifty thousand. So difference how much thirty thousand decreased. Okay, so we need to enter thirty thousand within the bracket. Okay, see now we need to find out the. Total. Okay, so total sixty thousand plus twenty thousand eighty eighty plus one lakh one lakh eighty thousand minus thirty thousand. The answer will be one lakh fifty thousand. Okay, enter one lakh fifty thousand here. In the same way, find out the absolute change for assets also. See current year tangible asset six lakh forty. Previous year five lakh. How much increased? One lakh forty thousand increased. Okay, so one lakh forty thousand. The next one tangible asset for tangible asset current year one lakh previous year also one lakh there is no changes so put dash the next one trade receivables current year one lakh twenty previous year one lakh so what is the difference twenty thousand increased okay and the next one 
cash at bank current year 20000 previous year 30000 the difference is 10000 rupees decreased okay so current year value is lesser than the previous year value so that uh, minus 10000 no this will be entered within the bracket okay now find out the total 140 plus 20 160 minus 10000 you will be getting 150000 okay so this is the way to calculate absolute change it may be increase or decrease according to the data given in the problem the final step is we need to find out the percentage of change by using the formula that is change absolute change divided by base year base year is previous year is the base year that is a okay so 60000 divided by 3 lakhs into 100 in the same way 20000 divided by 130 into 100 and then 1 lakh divided by 1 lakh 50 into 100 and the next one minus 30000 divided by 1 lakh 50 into 100 you will be getting negative percentage okay that will be entered within the bracket in the same way we need to find out the percentage change for each and every components of assets as well as liabilities now see the calculation of percentage change the first one 60000 Divided by three lakhs into hundred, twenty percentage. And the next one, twenty thousand divided by one lakh thirty into hundred, fifteen point three eight. Okay, the next one, one lakh divided by one lakh fifty into hundred, sixty six point six seven. Okay, and the next one minus no, so minus thirty thousand divided by one lakh fifty into hundred, you will be getting minus. Twenty percentage. Okay. Now we need to find out the percentage change even for total. Okay. One lakh fifty thousand divided by seven lakh thirty into hundred. You'll be getting twenty point five five percentage. Okay. The next one assets. The first one one lakh forty divided by five lakhs into hundred. You'll be getting twenty eight percentage. The next one one lakh one lakh. There is no change. No. So put dash even for percentage, and the next one twenty thousand divided by one lakh into hundred, you'll be getting twenty percentage, and the last one minus no, so minus ten thousand divided by thirty thousand into hundred, you'll be getting minus thirty three point three three percentage. For minus, we need to enter within the bracket. Okay, the last one we need to find the percentage even for total. That is one lakh fifty thousand divided by seven lakh thirty into hundred. You'll be getting twenty point five five percentage. Okay, so this is the way to prepare comparative income statement. That is comparative balance sheet. We have calculated percentage change for each and every component in the horizontal format. Okay, in the horizontal way, we have compared for each and every components of balance sheet item. See. This is the way to prepare comparative balance sheet. Okay, in the next video we will see comparative statement of profit and loss along with the format. You can find the link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.